makeup veins today I'm going to do a little tutorial on this eye look that I've just done today it's quite a bright turquoise look and I will have information in the down bar about what products I've used today to get this look and if you want to see how I did it then please keep watching I'm going to put a little bit of the NYX on as well it makes a really nice eye primer but it's also really good it just really cancels out the colour on your lid Shadows stick to it really well and it just kind of makes a lovely blank canvas for you to work with. And the reason I'm doing this as well as the primer is because I'm going to really put some quite bright colours on. And I really, really want them to stand out so I'll put the white on underneath, it really does help that. So we're going to move on to the other NYX pencil, which is in electric blue. There we go. So I'm just going to put this on the lid. You do not need to apply much pressure to get the colour to transfer. So uh, it's, you know, they're very comfortable to use these pencils. So I'm going to tip that up into the crease. And that's what it looks like now. And um, we're going to take um, another bright shadow. It's this one here. This is in um, the deluxe box of shadows. And I'm just packing this on here. Now as you can see this is a very similar colour. But it does have some lovely shimmer to it. And it's just got like a little bit of a nice shine to it. And with the cream colour underneath. Because this goes on very differently on its own. But with this bright colour underneath it goes on really true. And I really like how that looks. I'm going to take a piece on an angled brush. And I just want to bring a little bit of that underneath the eye. I'm going to take it all the way along. Come on, Come on, right, so we're now going to go over to um, Clash, which is the Urban Decay pencil. And I just basically want to put this across the lid, across the lash line. Now, I don't know if that's going to come up very well on camera, but it actually is slightly brighter and it just gives a lovely shimmer. I'm going to move on and do just a little bit of glitter across the top and just soften that line. And for that I'm going to use Uzi. Now there's quite a bit of glitter fallout with this, but I'll just live with that. I'm going to add a little bit of shattered onto the brush as well, which is from the same palette. And just totally soften that edge. I'm only going to do the top and I'm going to take it right down in the eye corner so it's straight across the top. Shattered is this really lovely colour here. What I love about this is that the glitter from Uzi just falls down onto your shadows, and because these are very creamy shadows, it's just going to sit there rather than float all over your face. But that definitely just beautifully softens that line out. Just gives you a little bit of gradient having that slightly lighter blue up above. So we're going to use Urban Decay's 24-7 pencil in perversion now on the top lash line. Keep them very close to the lashes. Just add some really nice definition. And then in the waterline on the lower. And on the tight line. 
Right, so with that on, I'm actually going to put a little bit of shadow over the top because I want a bit of shadow on the lower lash line. It just gives it a little bit of a softer look. So I'm going to use my favourite brush from MAC. I absolutely love this little beauty. So I'm going to get some Urban Decay Blackout. Uh, this is in several palettes, but this is in the Naked 2. Uh, it's just really beautiful black and I'm just got it on here. I'm just gonna pack that on And it just softens the edges very slightly on that And also I just want to run it a little bit underneath The lash line on the bottom Okay, so now I want to take Verve, also from Naked 2. It's a beautiful brow highlight colour. Just want to put it up here. On the brow bone. I'm going to do a little bit of an inner corner highlight here as well. I'm not going to put too much. Again, I'm going to use Verve. Just add a little bit of light on the inner eye corner. So I'm going to use the um, Revlon 3D Mascara, I'm just going to pop that on. I love this mascara so much. My lashes are very long, but they're so fine. So I really need a muscle. Boo boo. <laughs> I really need a good mascara. To add a bit more definition under the eyes, I'm going to use Urban Decay's 24-7 liner in Electric. And I actually just want to run this just underneath here, just to get a little bit more colour under the centre of the eye. So that is the finished eye. I actually really love how it's turned out. I love those colours. I'm going to come out a bit now. Okay, so now on with the rest of the face. I am going to use Havana. And I'm going to use the Real Techniques blush brush. Swirl it around in the product. Just get that on there. I really think that pink, like this, especially this candy baby sort of pink, looks really nice with like a blue eyeshadow. Great thing about Benefits boxes of powder is they can be very subtle, so it's just a matter of building them up. I'm just going to now take um, my contour and highlight brush and my MSF, and I'm just going to run that across the top of the cheekbones. And down my nose a bit to give a lovely glow. So I'm going to do just a tiny little bit of contour. I'm going to use my um, Real Techniques Kabuki. Um, I'm actually going to use Dallas. I'm just going to bring that just down the contour area. Okay, so I've put a bit of Dallas down there. I really like Dallas as a contour. And then I'm just going to take an angled brush, um, brow brush. I'm going to take a little bit of Dallas and I'm just going to contour the nose very lightly. So. So I'm just lining my lips now, as you can see I've already got quite a bit of product on. 
and I've actually covered the whole of the lip area. And now I'm just going to do the lips and I'm going to go for Pink Pearl Pop from MAC on my lips. That's what it looks like, it's really pretty pink. And it's quite bright pink, you could actually play this look down uh, and go for a pink that's not quite so in your face because it is very bright. A baby pink or a nice peach would look lovely with this look but I'm going to go for bright colour because I think the bright aqua and bright pink are just two colours that work really well together. I think they look pretty good for this look. And I actually am going to put a little bit of a gloss over the top of that. I'm not going to go for anything with any too much of a colour. I'm actually just going to use this one from Barry M. Because these are just, they're not sticky, they smell amazing. I don't know what this one smells of. It's quite fruity. But they feel so creamy on the lips, which is really good. So, that is it. That is the finished look. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to call this as yet, but I really like it. I love the eye colour. And with the black defining it, it just kind of makes your eyes stand out a lot more. So that's it for now. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching as always. Thank you for subscribing, supporting and commenting on my videos. It means a lot. I'm going to love you all and leave you and see you all soon. Bye. Uh-oh. That's right, I'm here. Hello! Oh, you had a good time! <laughs> what are you grinning at? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. <laughs> I like the sound of that. I told him with the piercings. <laughs>